nutrition This is the start of the digestive system It gets broken down into smaller bits And then it's swallowed down the esophagus Peristalsis moves it onto the stomach Where acid and enzymes have it totally covered But the stomach isn't static, it's active too With a muscular wall to move around your food Moving on, we get into the small intestine Where food gets absorbed into the bloodstream With help from the bowel coming from the liver And the extra enzymes the pancreas delivers the last stage is the large intestine where excess water undergoes absorption. The leftover matter is feces stored in the rectum with the anus at the end of the section. The inner body's kind of hard to see, but everybody's got a heart to beat. And from the second that we start to breathe, the body parts collaborate remarkably. What does it do to the food you eat to get the energy to move your feet? And now we're kicking it with Sampari To help you understand your anatomy So the heart is an organ that pumps blood and sits in The body with a double circulatory system The right ventricle pumps blood to the lungs The left one pumps the blood around the rest of us It comes through the aorta full of oxygen It's carried around the body where it's lost again The blood now carries the waste like the CO2 Right back to the heart where it enters through a vena cava But it's not yet done The pulmonary arteries must get it out to the lungs where the waste is replaced with the oxygen again then it's back to the heart through the pulmonary veins so veins are low pressure and drain to the heart but for high pressure arteries that's where they depart and don't forget the heart muscle has its own supply through the coronary arteries round the outside the inner body's kind of hard to see but everybody's got a heart that beats and from the second that we start to breathe the body parts collaborate remarkably what does it do to the food you eat to get the energy to move your feet and now we're kicking it with Sampari To help you understand your anatomy The movement of air in and out of the lungs is called breathing So let's look at how that's done It's caused by a sheet of muscle called the diaphragm And muscles in the rib cage that make the chest expand Air gets pulled in through the nose and the mouth The lungs are the destination as it heads down south Down along the trachea known as the windpipe Then into bronchi on the left and the right These branch into bronchioles that you'll find Terminating tiny sacs called the alveoli Surrounded by a network of thin capillaries and gas sustain just the main facility now COVID-19 causes inflammation damaging alveoli that will star and stiffen or fill with fluid that blocks the oxygen's depth that it enters the blood to leave you short of breath the inner body's kind of hard to see but everybody's got a heart to beat and from the second that we start to breathe the body parts collaborate remarkably what does it do to the food you eat to get the energy to move your feet and now we're kicking it with Sampari To help you understand your anatomy The inner body's kind of hard to see But everybody's got a heart that beats And from the second that we start to breathe The body parts collaborate remarkably What does it do to the food you eat To get the energy to move your feet And now we're kicking it with Sampari To help you understand your anatomy